Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bulunmaz. We are with Bengal Master CNC machine, the latest release. And today I will introduce you the most important part of the machine, the brain of the machine, the controller software. We control the machine with a PC-based controller software, and that software controls a network of Mitsubishi servo motors. There are 11 servo motors on this machine. Four are on the down part where you put rings or bangles, which that's the heart of the machine actually. And six are on the upper part, the engraving part. It moves up and down the engraving heads or turn them 360 degrees. And the last motor, the 11th one, is related to the automatic fuel changer. Let's move to the software. That software we have developed in-house with our own coders. And that's why it's a great success for us. Plus, it's a great ability to give a better and faster service to our clients and uh, bring the latest developments. Let me try to introduce you each component of the software. I hope you like it. I will start with the workspace, the working area where you will see all our models. And the first is our button to add the models, to bring the models to the screen. I will add three models today and let's see how it will work out. I will choose three models which works continuously. So you can, I can choose multiply pressing control button. I can choose three models and I will click open and they come. So now I will introduce you how these three models will work one by one. Before starting the operations, I want to introduce you the second button. That's a save button. When you push this, you have the chance to save that three models as a single file, which means you don't need to choose three models each time again. You can just save it as a group and then bring back the group to work it again. So I'm saving that so I can use uh, in the next projects. Here we go with our third button. That's the button to see the G-code of our model. We have to choose first which model we want to see the G-code. Let me choose the first one. We basically click in the machine, click in the model, and then see it turns yellow. That means that model is active. Then we basically click the G-code button and the G-code screen comes in front of us. So we can study what G-code, but I have to say that you nearly never need G-code in this machine. You don't have to know all this coding. It's super simple. You will use 100% of your time, the visual interface. The fourth button, it means repeat the latest model. We have to choose the model we wanna repeat, which means we wanna duplicate. So that's already chosen just in the previous operation. It's already yellow. It means it's already active. So my model is chosen. So I basically click repeat. And the same model comes again, so I can have the similar or different settings and I can use the extra head of the machine with the same model. I want to introduce you the fifth and sixth buttons. I will introduce together because they are uh, similar applications. The first one, I just opened a new model, which is uh, which led me to introduce you these buttons. So that's a flower here. So basically we must be, it must be chosen. It's yellow, it's active. So we click the fifth button, it's a mirror option. So the flower goes, flips left and right as a, exactly as a mirror. We click again to the mirror, you see it comes back. The sixth button, mirror again, but it flips up and down, which means the flower is turning exactly back as a mirror view. We make it back, so our flowers come back. You can use these options in several model, in several applications. Here we go with the next buttons, left and right. These are used just to move the model, just right side of the model next to it. Sometimes we need to uh, change the order of the model. In this order, the machine will process first this model, second this model, third this model. Sometimes we wanna change it, so let's choose that model, make it active, yellow. When we push right, just the models basically moves one right. I, put, I push right again, moves right. I push left and left. So it comes back to its place. So that's basically moving the order of the models you want to process on your Bengal master. Here is our view mode. So that view mode shows basically different view options uh, on the controller software. We have three view options. First one is that one. Uh, already all the models are separated. When we click, they come together, which you can see as a finished product three models combine each other. And when we click once more, there will be coming the third option. These yellow parts are the surface scanner results. 
when you scan the surface you get the up and downs on your bangle earnings so these parts are showing this just have a look at our surface scanner video for more information on this third view mode here you can see our settings tab we have most of the settings of the machine with this tab we just click it and uh, we can see the settings come back here are general settings there are several settings you will need uh, when you have bengal master machine our technicians will teach you all the settings here is the most important one the language as you seen you can use your bengal master cnc machine in many languages russian english portuguese chinese whatever many many languages already preloaded so that's the critical parts in the settings here is our button for the surface scanner if you watched already our surface scanner video you can uh, have idea about how it works so when you click you get the menu for how to run the surface scanner the levels sharp or soft so calibrate the according to the settings so that's the basically the button to use the surface scanner here we go with our control center here you can control or add uh, manual settings on your machine you start with the width of the ring or bangle last we used 36 millimeter then the diameter of your ring or bangle that's in millimeters again the radius value we last used radius 23 and then comes the setting calibrating your tool and manual work of your tool then some manual settings here then start pause and stop hold the operation that's the most important part you will need running your machine in the control center there are two more options to use two more units on the of the control center first the joke that's used for the manual control of the axis as i said there are 11 axes in the machine and you can control here each axis left and right up and down or around manually sometimes you need to do it to calibrate or to make settings of your machine and then the third part the reference here you can see uh, which kind of products you want to process rotary means like a ring or bangle shape the radius the inside radius here is the polar to use for left and right side of the rings it's like a basically side of the rings or bangle and there are several other settings that's also an important part of the control units on the right top you will see the location indicator you will never use to use to enter a value here you just see the position where your machine is right now it's a just an observation unit after we finish our work and done all the settings in control center we are back to the workspace to make the last settings and uh, run our bangles here we start explaining with the active tool that means which tool as you know there are plenty of heads on bangle master cnc machine so that means which tool we will use in this model we just choose there then we continue with the spindle speed is the as you understand the speed of the spindle you can set here manually or you can set on the machine also then the velocity that's basically the feed rate how fast you wanna you want your spindle to move then that step is a special option for our software you can easily turn your drawings into into dots and you can turn them back here we see the width of your ring or bangle you see the main width working area and then the final size you set here then comes the offset so you can move your drawing off the set to the left or to the right then there's the height then again there's a 360 degree idea here so it's moving up and down here is another form of uh, height offset it's again moving up and down but a different idea then we come one of the most important points that's depth here is chosen 0.1 you can change it 0 0.2 0 0.3 whatever that's the depth you want your tool to come in in uh, when it's working and there's a depth step when you enter 005 depth step and 015 depth that means the machine will go inside three times 005 millimeter each time three times a total of 0 0.15 millimeter that's the most critical part when you choose your right tool then there are the settings for the uh, 360 degree diamond cut head as you've seen it's not active here because this model is not for that head but this model i want to use for the 360 degree head and then you can choose the angle that's the basics of uh, the working center that was a little bit complicated little bit technical video so if you arrived at video you are probably close to order one bangle master 
Just don't hesitate to contact us for more technical questions. We are always here to help you. Thank you so much for watching us. See you in next video.